So another vlog here, this is probably only my third or fourth that I have done and I just do these really just for some channel updates. I mean I could make it more of a common thing if you guys were interested that as you my followers. So there's going to be a few changes here with the channel and the biggest one is this apartment, what I call the studio, where I work out of in the evenings I come here and I do my recording and things. So I'm quickly show you around here. But because of my outrageous costs lately from getting some crazy bills here from DHL mostly, I mean I've been paying taxes on some of these things that are just above and beyond what I should be paying. For example, the 160 US dollar mobile phone, I ended up having to pay 97 euros in tax. I mean, work that out, it should be 21% plus their fee. I mean, I'm disputing it at the moment with them, but I doubt I'll ever see a refund. So that is what has brought on a lot of these changes here at the moment that I'm gonna be making in the channel. So I'm gonna to have to give up this apartment and you'll probably notice that I'm glowing red. That is because there is no air conditioning in here. Now, when I first moved back in December here last year, uh, I had to do that move because I do not have a good internet connection anymore at my house, which is up towards the mountain here in Denia. That now is um, still an issue. I've only got an upload speed there of about, oh, I don't know what it is about, not even one megabyte per second. So uploading an eight gigabyte YouTube clip, one of my reviews or something, would just take like three days for it to work and then it'll cut out. You know, it's just, that's why I moved anyway into town. So a huge expense too. This place is about four, it's 450 euros plus the bills, plus all these taxes I'm paying, plus my fiber connection. And this month has just been a, a real eye opener that I cannot continue uh, with these kind of costs because I had the, the Me Notebook, which I'm currently testing out wherever it is around here on my desk. Um, no, that's not it there, I've got it here. That's the Core i5 version, which has got the 7Y54. Now, I had a big surprise with that one too because it went through um, with a service called ADP Postalias, and these guys are horrible. They've, they've taxed me on that one, and that ended up to be around 230 euros. So this month, my costs alone are probably edging up definitely way over the 1,000 euro mark, was, which is just crazy because YouTube earnings are plummeting. Um, I have earnings, of course, from the affiliate links, which I put up there and that really is um, what keeps the channel going at this point because I couldn't just keep paying all of this out of my pocket. So I'll be downgrading from this studio to another place that is uh, it's quite run down, an old apartment, but it is a hell of a lot cheaper. So that's the main thing to cut down my cost. So there will be some changes in the channel that I won't be ordering so many things with express shipping. So I will not, will not be getting things uh, at least not everything, as fast as I have been before, and probably will ease back and slow down on just how many products uh, I decide to review because just because of that tax problem, that it's just so many things coming in and bills are just mounting up there. So what I will probably do is just the big huge releases, for example, if the, the Mi Note 3 comes out or the Mi Mix 2, yeah, I will order that with DHL, that's fine because I know I can get some views off that video, but for something like these Apollo Lake laptops here, I'm gonna stop using uh, DHL for those and have it come by the slow mail, which means it'll take about two weeks. It's an absolute sauna in here. It is about um, 35 degrees. Anyway, I'll give you a quick tour around this place before I end up moving out in about a week or two. So on this little corner here, I've set up a desktop as you can see for editing and 4K video. So I did this on the cheap and I'm really happy with this system. So it's an AMD Ryzen 1700, overclocked to four gigabytes. And for things like Adobe Premiere Pro, it is really good and fast at encoding. And it actually outdoes my Intel i7 6800K that I have at home. But this isn't set up for gaming. My one at home is because I've got a, a 1080 in that. This has just got the, um, the armor. 1060, just tried to make it as cheap as possible, something that, uh, you know, will give it a little bit of power there. So next to that, I've got, of course, that, uh, if you've seen the review, mini PC there, which is a fanless i7. Now, apologies for the lighting quality and, and all of that. I mean, this is just a uh, uh, vlog, so just nice and easy for me to shoot this using my Samsung Galaxy S7. So 4K monitor, was it actually a TV. This is a 4K LG TV that I've calibrated, set in gaming mode. The uh, input lag is horrible for gaming, but 
I'm never gonna be gaming on this. This is basically just for web use and a little bit um, of video editing, but not really too much video editing is done on this. I do it on my uh, monitor at home because it's correctly calibrated there, and so I try and get the, the whites and everything correct. I'm currently setting this up for review here, which is the Cube iWork 5X. That's that one that can flip around the screen. Hopefully that re review will be coming soon. And there is the, the Xiaomi, uh, that's the 12.5 inch one that's powered by the 7Y54, which is a Core i5 they've named it, even though it's like a Core M chip on there. So plenty of other things in here in this apartment that uh, I've got to review here. So that's the jumper Easy Pad 6S, another Apollo Lake. <laughs> it wasn't hard to guess that because I'm reviewing so many of them at the moment, of course. Uh, the Lenovo P8, still in the packaging there. And, oh, just, oh, that's the T-Book T4 in there. So some stuff I've got tidy out there. So, I mean, this apartment is really good, but I don't live here, so I'm not really fully using it. The landlord is a bit of a dickhead as well because I asked him to install air conditioning and he basically said, yeah, not a problem as long as you pay for it. So, but I had to leave it here too. I can't exactly uninstall it and take it with me later. So all these packages along here, that's stuff that I have reviewed. I mean, we've got even some uh, Cherry Trail devices and some older stuff in there. At home, I have even a, a huge amount more. So. Right in here in this room is where part of the issue is. So you can see now the lighting's correct because I've got neutral white lights and some studio lights here. Uh, very basic setup. Now I've got my Sony A6300 and then just a, a directional mic. Now a lot of people will probably say, why are you using a directional mic and not a lav mic? And, and it's, a lot of it's to do with echo. So that helps me cut down on the echo, echo there. Lav mics will just pick up a lot because, again, the landlord, uh, I cannot stick any um, foam on the walls to stop any echo. So what I've got is a, a brand new uh, mattress on the side of the wall to help cut down on that. And, oh, there's another one of the, uh, the Mi Notebooks. Jumper EasyPad 3 lookalike, which is the Shoma 31. I've just reviewed that one. Just need to take a couple of photos of this and get the drivers uploaded onto my website. So as you can see, my setup is, is nothing uh, crazy at all. It's in fact very basic and I'm happy with it at the moment. I know I should improve maybe on my sound and, and get a proper dedicated mic set up or external recording and not record it via the camera. Uh, really, that's all a lot of money and at the stage where the channel is, I, I just can't afford to go and spend thousands and thousands on camera and equipment. So you would have noticed that lately I have not been talking in front of the camera and that is because of the heat. In here there are no windows apart from, well, the, the window that is, is through here where the toilet is, but hardly any oxygen or anything. So I'm literally in here completely cooking myself. And it's become really torture to do the reviews and maybe you might have noticed in some of the recent ones that uh, maybe I sound tired or whatever, and that's part of the reason there. Then in the spare room here, I have, well, it's my charge, my Mi Scooter. This is fantastic. Absolutely love it. It is so much better than what I thought it was going to be. And this is my main mode of transport here in town. I park out of town and I just jump on this to get right into the city center. Because at the moment, the population has tripled. Tourist town, summer, you know, there's beaches, there's a castle. So this is what I use to get around everywhere. So I do have my own portable air conditioning that I installed here. Excuse the mess, I know everything's just got uh, bits and pieces all over the place. Um, a very cheap portable aircon that I installed. Do not, whatever you do, buy one of these. Uh, these machines are absolutely useless. So this tube, of course, is the exit vent, generates a lot of heat and probably puts out more heat than the coal that comes out the top here. And really, it will only uh, just knock about two degrees having this on all day, consuming loads of power at about 3,000 watts, I think it is. So I'll turn it on and show you what the temperature is in here right now. Yeah, that's the ambient temperature in these rooms here, 35 degrees. Now, I can open the windows here, of course, 
and the window on the street and I'll have even hotter air coming in which is just not good at all. So there's the channel update there, you can see there's going to be some changes happening in the next couple of weeks and, and hopefully the transition will be relatively smooth. I know it's going to be a lot better for me because I can get out of this room here which at the moment with these lights on, I'm pretty sure it's, it's nearing at least 37, 38 degrees. It's an absolute sauna in here. In fact, I'm calling this uh, apartment now the Inferno, well the overpriced Inferno really, but now I've got that option with the fiber optic moving that line over into this new place i'll be moving forward from there so if you do notice the changes that is why i might have to do you know a few tweaks with the lighting with the sound there could be a little bit more echo than expected and i will of course have those reviews up and coming there of the xiaomi the mi notebook 12.5 uh, into 2017 model with the 7y54 and then the cube iwork 5x and the mini pc2 that's coming up and a couple of other things that uh, of interest there gadgets out of China. Thanks so much for watching.